Hey guys, Moan Pobert here with another video and this video is all about how do you get the fucking money and this is part four. Let's get to it. So hey, welcome back to another video. My name is Moan Pobert and I'm buying businesses full time for the last three years almost. And this channel is all about me sharing my journey, documenting my journey and making sure you're not going to make the same mistakes that I did, that I literally paid small fortune to learn sometimes. And I just want to share with you my journey and I just want to do more deals. So I know that potentially by me expanding this channel, I'll be able to do more deals and I'll be able to access to, I guess, better deal flow, better pipeline of deal flow as we move forward. I'm here to show you, for those of you who are new to the channel, that it's, in my opinion, better to go and try to buy existing business versus starting one from scratch. If you want to become a business owner and you want the lifestyle and the income, so unless you have like a huge, uh, unique idea that you want to go into and like a new technology, I think you don't really need to go and start from scratch. And even if you have that crazy idea, go buy existing business in that sector and bring that crazy idea into an existing operation with existing, I guess, infrastructure and, and distribution channels and, and a list of clients. And it's going to be much easier for you to develop everything. First of all, because you're already going to have the budget and income coming into that business already. And even if you want to raise capital to your crazy idea, it's going to be much easier for you to do that with an existing business, with an existing credit and again, with an existing revenues. So that's what this channel is all about. It's also to show you that if you have existing business, it's in my opinion, the fastest way to grow is to go and buy a different business that is either complementary to yours or just buy your competitors and grow your revenues. And the more revenues you have, the more you're worth if eventually you want to sell the business. So, and obviously, even if you, when you buy a business, you can buy a business with an existing operation, operate uh, management team basically in place who can then take over your management as well. So you can buy a business bring them to to your business existing business and then just have that manager running both of those businesses so you can have the freedom to do whatever you want or just go and buy other businesses so that's the, this is what this channel is all about and let's get uh, to today's video now so i don't know if you watch the other videos but basically this is assuming that you're going out there looking to buy businesses or want to buy businesses or want to grow your existing business by acquisitions and you're now thinking okay where do i get the money maybe i don't have millions in the bank what do i do in order to go and buy an existing ideally profitable business and where do I get the money to finance that deal if I don't have millions of dollars lying around that I can spend. So if you watch the first videos in this, uh, I guess, sequence, you know that I talked about, I guess, raising debt, which is things like raising, uh, uh, basically financing from asset-based lenders or cash flow lenders or just SBA from the US. US. Um, today, I'm going to talk about equity investors. So it's, I guess, a little different angle to where you're going to raise capital from. Now, in my opinion, when you're going to look for doing deals, ideally you want to raise as much as you can from debt uh, partners, from basically people who can la loan you money on a debt basis uh, versus someone who want equity in your deal. The reason for that is that, first of all, when you raise debt, you don't need to, uh, I guess, give any of the equity in the business and you still own 100%. And in my opinion, uh, even a, a better reason for not raising equity uh, capital is because many times when you raise equity, it feels like you have a boss again a little bit. And at least personally, I don't want to have bosses anymore any, any time in my life. So I, I guess for that reason, you want to really think twice if and when you want to raise equity in uh, capital. Uh, but again, it's up to you. It really depends on how much you want to be involved in the deal. And I guess it's a fair thing that you need to have kind of like, like a boss because those people or institutions or whatever uh, gave you their money. Many times those are private individuals who gave you their hard uh, earned money and you need to make sure that you give them their returns. And, and this is your responsibility as, as the main shareholders, as a person who's out there buying that business. So one really key important thing to understand with equity, um, I guess raising equity capital, is that you need to understand if you have a good deal, to raise equity can be much easier than you think. And if you never raised equity or any capital before in your life, maybe this statement, you don't really believe in it. But you need to understand that there, there are so many people out there with money where they, they're looking for places to put their money. And by you offering them a good deal, this is something that they can't find anywhere else. Like if, if those people are going to keep their money in their bank or, or just go and try to invest in the stock market, their returns on their money is much smaller compared to what they can get here with small businesses. Now, the thing is, those small businesses to get access to those deals, it's, it's really, really hard unless you know someone who's 
looking to buy those businesses, right? Like me and my team or you potentially looking to buy those businesses. So the fact that you have access to that type of deal flow give you a very, uh, I guess, a benefit compared to many people out there who are trying to raise capital. You're looking at deals that most people don't look at and that idea alone is worth a lot. Now, those private individuals, um, with those small businesses, they'll probably look for around 15 to 20% or even more, obviously, depends on the investor. Some people will be okay or more than okay with eight or 10%, but it's all, again, up to negotiation. But to get returns of like 20% in this small business award, it's very, very doable. And that's why it's so lucrative for private individuals, um, usually high net worth individuals are just looking for places to, to put their money. And think about it, like even people, like those private indi individuals can be your local doctor or lawyer or any individuals who have some capital that he saved from his job and is now looking for places to invest that money. So you always need to keep that in mind and, and start to build those relationships, start to get in touch with people who can potentially be your next investor to your next deal. I really suggest you to start build a list of people that you know, either around you or anyone you know who potentially can be the person who is investing in your deal. Um, now, it can be anyone because remember, e even if you can raise $10,000 from a specific person, many times all you need is like 10 people to bring you $10,000 each. If you can raise $100,000 in equity, that can buy you a business doing $100,000 in, in profit many times. And those businesses are many times a million dollar businesses. So if, if a business is doing 1 million in sales, many times they're doing around 100,000 in profit. And you can usually buy those businesses, obviously it depends on who you're talking to and your negotiation skills and all that, right? But you can many times buy those businesses for three times multiples. And many times you can raise a bit of that money from debt partners and all you're missing could be 50 or 100,000 to buy a million dollar business. So don't underestimate the access that you have to people that you know, even if they're not very successful, uh, most people out there can get access to one to $10,000. And if you can get them good return on, on that money, all you need is 10 good people to give you 100,000 to buy you a million dollar business, literally. And, and that's something that people don't understand. That's why you want to start build that network from, from day one. If you want to get into the space, the more access you have to more investors, the better. And one thing you need to remember is that you're doing those guys, uh, you're doing them a favor. Like for people who build some kind of a net worth, who have money in their bank account, they're just looking for places to put their money into. Now, obviously you wanna be serious and build some kind of information memorandum to sell your deal and talk about you and your team and, and what returns they're gonna get. And I'm, I'm gonna expand on that in a bit, but you need to remember the first thing is that your deal is good. And if you won't believe in that, they won't believe in that. So you really need to believe in your deal and then just show them that they have an amazing opportunity because they really do. For people, if they're gonna keep their, their money in their bank account, they're gonna get nothing or if they're gonna invested in the stock market like they're going to get very uh, low returns and with you they can get amazing returns um, i'm talking like i said like obviously depends on the deal but can be 20 percent easily with those small businesses so always keep that in mind always keep that in mind the fact that you're adding value to those people like even right now the deals that we're working with me and my partner and carl there are deals that we, if we have money we want to play with, we want to put them into our deals, our literally the deals that we find, we want to put sometimes our personal capital into those deals just because there are such great returns. Like there's a deal we're looking at in, in Los Angeles right now and it looks like we're going to put some equity capital as well. And we're going to be basically our equity investors into that deal just because the returns are great. And it's, it's many times better to invest in those businesses. And even just for tax reasons, it's better to invest in those businesses versus keeping them somewhere or just pay lots of taxes on them and take them home. So, um, and, and that's what we do. And if you wanna learn more about how we could potentially invest in your deals as well, um, it, it, we only invest in deals in our in people with our part in our partner program. So if you want, um, just wait for the end of the video and you, you learn more about that. But remember, guys, everyone with a bit of money, they want to put it somewhere and you can give them that opportunity. Now, like I mentioned before, you want to have some kind of information memorandum on your deal. You want to come with all of the conclusions from your accountants, from your lawyers. You want to come even with the risks that you think the business have or with your projections, with your plan to grow their business, with what the returns that they can expect to get, with what equity they can expect to get if they're going to invest in the deal. You want to have as much information as you want 
in those information memorandums. If you have lots of investors, you can even create some kind of a, a group call like via Zoom or, or some kind of conference that you can find online and bring everyone from all over the world to the same call to present that deal online and then to literally open the, the call to Q&A and, and see that everyone is involved and just help them as much as you can about that deal. And, and the more people, the more potential investors will see that the, the more investors want to get into this deal, they'll fight to get into this. When they'll see that other people want to be involved, they'll fight to be the first ones. And the idea that you bring in many investors to the same call and just telling them, hey, look, we, we only need five investors who are going to put 20 grand each. Uh, you'll see people are going to fight to try to get into the, this deal. And if they, if you can get in, into this specific deal, just tell them, hey, don't, don't worry, we, we have more deals coming to you and just bring them to your future deals. But it's always good to to have a network of few people uh, and, and just even for the others to see that other investors are, are interested in that deal. I guess one challenge or issue with getting equity investors is the fact that you as the individual who found the deal will most likely get the money of that deal after the investor got their money and their return that you promised to him. So if he's invested $1 million, you'll get the million back first and then probably some kind of preferred return of 8% or whatever you agree and negotiate with him, right? And only then you'll get the money. That's probably most likely what many investors are going to ask, uh, but it's really up to negotiation again. like. You can negotiate any deal that you want. And remember, the better the deal that you have, the better terms you can uh, get from your investors. And also remember, another really good thing with bringing equity investors is the fact that those equity investors can many times add much more value to your deal other than just the capital. Like you can bring investors who are experts in that field. So if you buy a healthcare business or something related to the healthcare sector, and you can bring a doctor who is a high net worth doctor who's somehow involved in that business or in that sector who can add maybe a, a, a different level of value to that business other than just his capital, maybe his contacts, maybe some infrastructure that he already built with his business, maybe some access to distribution that he can help you with. So I guess that's a great benefit to have those investors because they can open lots of doors that you wouldn't have otherwise if you wouldn't bring into the deal as the investor. Now, how you get in touch with them? Obviously, there are many ways to get in touch with investor, potential investors, and I can expand on that in future videos if you want. Just tell me in the comments below. Uh, but overall, it's like any sales process. You need to build your pipeline and then walk your way down. You can ideally have as many interactions with them as possible. So if you're starting with emails, email, then talk to them on the phone. Then your first goal with potential equity investors is to get some kind of variable commitments from them. And then as soon as you move forward towards closing the deal, when you have the LOI already, ideally you want to have more variable commitment than you actually need because some investor will back out of the deal when it comes to closing. So ideally you want to have more investors than you need. So you know you have, um, I guess your back covered if in case someone decided to, to not go into the deal eventually. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're looking for equity investors, me and my partner sometimes looking to put money into deals as well. Um, so that's only for deals in kind of like our Shark Tank in our partner program. So we look at deals and many times there's a missing equity kick or an equity injection needed. And we, we are happy to sometimes put that money into those deals if those are good deals. So if you need help with that or want access to that, then see the details in the end of the video. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, Mohan Pobert here and thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment below, help me grow the channel because the more you help me grow the channel, the more deals I'll be able to do and the more I'll be able to give you more value. So please, if you didn't yet, like the video right now, subscribe right now and comment below on this video. Let me know your thoughts. And also check in the description below this video, there's a text description where you can have a link to a free business buying mastermind group that we have on Facebook. Join it right now if you're not in it yet. There are amazing people in there, people who are looking or doing deals on a regular basis and you can be part of this conversation. So go to the description right now. Also, I'm looking to create daily videos on the topics of buying and growing businesses and I need your help on having ideas for more topics. So in the description below, you also see a link for a survey where you give me your biggest question. You just fill in, fill in your personal details and I'll create a personalized video for you based on your specific question. So help me with that. Put your details below in the survey and give me ideas for videos. Do it right now after you join the Facebook group. 
And if you like this type of content or just in general looking to accelerate your growth and buy businesses faster and you want to take things to the next level, if you want to see if you're a fit to our partner program and basically have access to a team that did more than 300 deals, it's mainly me and my partner, Carl Ellen, and we have a main CFO who was involved in many, many deals. So if you want access to that and you want us to be your partners, if you want access to us 24 seven, I mean access to me in my Skype, my personal email, my phone number if needed, and you want us to show you A to Z how to buy and grow businesses and how to grow by acquisitions and not just show you what to do, but also be there with you and help you close deals as your partners. We want to do more deals and we can help you do that. You'll learn everything from how to position yourself as a legit buyer if you, if you have no experience and how to use our track record as your dream team and position yourself as a legit buyer in front of business owners and brokers. How to then find motivated sales because everyone can find business owners and tell them that you want to buy their business but most of them are not motivated to sell their business and we will show you how to find motivated sales. We'll show you how to talk to those business owners, how to negotiate deals with them, how to get the financials from them and how to use our team to do all the calculations and make sure that the deal is a good deal. Because yes, you can buy a business, but what if it's a shitty business and you don't know how to calculate the right ratios? You don't want to be screwed in this space. You'll then see how to get financing on your, those deals. And not only that, we will open our our contacts and the access to all the financial institutions that we know. We will show you how to get accountants and lawyers on success fees. And obviously we have our team to do that. So you won't need to even find them. And we'll then of course show you how to grow those businesses and how to make sure we have someone operating the day to day for us. Because unless you want to run businesses day to day because you're passionate about it, we highly suggest you not to do that. We can find someone to run the day to day for us while we in charge of the vision and setting goals for that manager. Not only that we're going to open our doors to all the financial institutions that you need, we are also going to put our personal capital into deals in our group of partners, in our shark tank. We're going to create some kind of a shark tank where we're going to look at deals that you want to buy and we potentially going to invest our own capital, basically going to put some equity kick into those deals. So many times, you know, you can buy a million dollar business, but you're missing 50 grand here, 100,000 here. And we are able to put our personal capital just because we believe in those deals. Those are our, the best deals out there. Investing in small businesses is, is the best thing an investor can do. And we will put the capital into some of those deals as well. So if you need help with that, you can apply to the program. If you never bought a business before, or if you have an existing business and you want to grow it by acquisitions and go and buy other complementary businesses. This is for people who understand that they need to invest in themselves in order to get to a point where they can buy a million dollar business. And it's also for, for people who understand that every day that go by and you're not buying another million dollar business and you're not owning another million dollar business, it's costing you million dollar. So if you're trying to learn about this space for one month or two months or one year or two years, every month that go by and you didn't buy a business cost you another one million dollar so don't hustle anymore to get another client for your business let's hustle together to buy a million dollar business as partners and don't get me wrong you can definitely try and do it on your own just by watching my free videos some of the info i have here i literally paid multiple six figures to learn but the partner program is for people who want to accelerate their growth, who want to have access to people and contacts and doors that they wouldn't have otherwise. This is for people who want to cut their learning curve in years. That is for people who are committed to take decisions right now and get results right now. So if you don't want to wait, go to moranpober.com forward slash talk and me or one of my team members will talk to you to see if it's a fit. The worst case is that you'll get a better clarity on your next steps in this space of buying businesses and will give you all the advice that you want. The best case is that you'll have access to a team that did more than 300 deals who will buy with you as your partners, your first or first, second or as many businesses as you want with you as soon as possible. So if you want, go right now to moanpober.com forward slash talk and I'll talk to you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and the other videos on this channel like, subscribe, comment, help me grow the channel, help me buy more businesses so I can help you buy yours as well. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.